Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And today is a very big day for me. It's uh, something I've actually been waiting for. Uh, I have been getting prepared for this moment. I have been trying to get things going. I have been keeping the research going as best I can. I've been getting a bit of a bit of a buffer going on the titanium crystals. I have these things constantly running now. The research is actually being queued. I do have the plain smelting going on. That's just for better furnaces. I would like to get to the next level of the stress system just because more to work with but uh, I haven't come up with an idea of what I'd like to do and I think I have something in mind uh, as far as the research goes I think I've got about 2,000 of these ready to go uh, I've stopped production perfect time for an auto save of course um, as far as what's going on down here I have been trying to keep things running as you see I've got more particle particle broadband down here I've got more of the graphene and uh, what else do I do down here uh, oh yeah I uh, We'll head over to the Casimir Crystal area. I uh, doubled this whole area up. Oh, and I missed my stop. Uh, we'll go back over here. Uh, I am starting to have an issue with refined oil, so I might have to maybe get a couple more refineries going. But I have, uh, as you can see, I doubled up, the, doubled up the production. And I'm actually getting quite a bit of a backlog up at the other end there, so we're doing pretty good. So, actually, how, many, oops, uh, how am I doing for crystals here? 300. All right, not bad. So let's go up to Lyseth, uh, Lyseth 1, uh, which is over here. And uh, take a minute, I'll meet you there. What a landing. Anyways, uh, of course I'm on the wrong side of the planet. But uh, I actually, I think I mentioned already, I have t another 12 of those EM railguns. Yeah, for the solar sails going. And I do have, I have, what was it, uh, four more launch silos. Now, I have been sort of messing around with the, the whole base and shell system, and it's kind of interesting. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to be building a structure, and then uh, the structure's going to have framework, and then I believe once there's a, an area for them to go, any solar cells that are launched up will automatically go into these areas. At least I, I think. Uh, but I have been very busy over here, too. Uh, not only do I have these six plane filters running, but I also have these sixes going as well. And we currently have 5,600 quantum circuits and climbing. Now, I am going to be building a few more of these setups here with the deuterium and uh, the, oops, uh, the rockets and stuff like that. I did get the graviton, uh, the graviton lenses running again. Uh, I th yeah, they are researching. Maybe it's... Uh, Actually, just get rid of this here. Don't need that right now. Uh, I've been trying to get these up running a little bit better, too. And it's always a pain. I don't know why. I, uh, I guess I'm just going with a uh, single setup. But anyways, enough chit-chat. Uh, let's get into... Let's actually land here. Let's get into some planning here. So, I'm going to... I know that once I take these rings out... Like, I'm going to have to destroy all these to get them out, but I'm going to lose the resources that I've already put into it. Uh, I have stopped sending up. Yep, so it's not too bad. I am going to lose about 213 megawatts of energy, but I'm not only using 375. So that's not too bad. So let's... Oh, wait. No, I'm using 340 out of 375. All right. Well, what I want to do, first of all, is we're going to take, uh, take the big ring here. I actually have the... That grid turned off. That is the big one, yes. I delete that. And I just lost a whole bunch of production. You demolish the structure of the Dyson Sphere. It will scatter the solar sails, and this will temporarily increase the total power generation of the Dyson Sphere. But these scattered solar sails will regain their life cycle. Okay, that answers the question. I was actually wondering if uh, the solar sails that went into the Dyson Sphere, if they still had their, their life cycle or not, but apparently not. Come on, there we go. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to clean up a few things here, and then I'm going to show you what I've got. Oh, that's interesting. So apparently, I guess, this, all the solar sails that I had in the components that I sent up there got freed up, and they're just actually traveling around. And I'm actually generating 700 megawatts right now. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you that. I thought that was kind of interesting. I destroyed them, and they started scattering like that. 
on second thought we might as well go through this together so what my idea is is i want to take the sun the star here and i want to sort of turn it into like a molecule or like an atom so it's going to have uh, the proton and the electrons running around it and it's going to be in a, a large grinder it's going to be like an atom grinder it's going to be sort of generating power uh, as you would you would say anyway uh, let's go ahead and start doing this thing so um how do i stop this thing Oh, there we go. All right, I want to go on equatorial. Uh, I know there's a certain distance I can go. See, I can't go right next to it. Oh, I can actually go close on this one. Hmm. Well, anyways, I'm going to go fairly simple on this. I just want to do... Uh, why is that not lining up? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to turn that into a cell. And then what's going to happen is that's going to be... All the solar cells that go up. Ooh, textures. Hmm. Now we'll just go with that one. Uh, let's see, does it really matter on the color? Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, color. You know what? Let's go with a blue. Why not? Let's get a little bit lighter. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the things. I'm going to do a couple more, and then I'll bring you back for the next part. Okay, so this is what I decided to go with. I just decided to go with the two of them for now. So I've got the, the red one and the blue one. They're going to be sort of crisscrossing around it. We're going to go ahead and get that new one here. Now, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. And I was thinking about having it just inside the, the first ring. Because it's going to be it's going to be four layers. So I can go about a thousand apart. So I've got six thousand. So I think I'll start the first one at nine thousand. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, it's going to have zero inclination and order uh, longitude doesn't really matter on this one. So we'll start here. We'll create. Now, my idea was going to be, like I said, sort of like a grinder. Now, I was thinking about trying to, trying to come sort of get creative with the design. And I think I'm going to go with the. Uh, I think I'm just going to go basically fairly simple with it. And basically, what it's going to be is just some long spikes. Uh, I can go down to here. And I think I might do that. I'd rather do that than there. So then it's just going to be repeating like pattern like this all the way around. Top and bottom. I'm believing the four tile gap between the top and bottom. So we're going to actually see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have four layers of this. There, there's going to be one outside the other, outside the other, outside the other. But uh, the what I'm going to be doing is taking the... The inclination, flipping it over to 180, so I, uh, the first one goes clockwise, the second one goes counterclockwise, the third one goes clockwise, and so it's sort of like a two-way grinding effect. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to take care of that, and I'll bring you back when that's all done. You ever get one of those moments where you think you've gone too far? I think this is one of them. But this is what I've got, and thanks to copy and paste, it this took significantly less time than I was should have. It took me about 20 minutes to make this, each one of these layers. Uh, let's go to the other one here so I can see it a little bit better. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, basically it was... Uh, can I actually show show and hide them? I don't think so. But you basically get and get it just like a V-shape and uh, I tried to triangle it off here. And then I've kept it sort of like a titanium color and I went a little bit lighter on the tips. Uh, I realize this is, might be a little bit too much, but uh, now for the icing on the cake, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add some new solar sail orbits. We're going to have a zero inclination, and let's see if we can get that radius down to, what I want to do is I want to get about four of these, sort of coming out from that seam, and it's going to be sort of like a flame, so we're going to have a blue ring, and we're going to have a Probably a red ring and an orange and a yellow. And go from there. Uh, we'll create that. That color is going to be a nice... Go for a nice bright blue if I can. Sure. We'll go with that. That's 13. So this is going to be 14. And this one is going to be, again, zero inclination, and so on and so forth. Let me do this off camera, and I'll bring you back when this is done. Okay, I've got that done. 
So I've had to go a little bit closer because uh, we're actually getting close to a planet here on this one here. There's uh, getting into, I don't know which planet it is, I guess that's going to be uh, less a two maybe. Uh, so yeah, I've had to keep them, I'm going to start from inside the clamshell. That's going to be blue, that's going to be orange, it's more red, that's going to be orange, and then that's going to be yellow. Now hopefully this all works out. I'm going to have to change the guns from all the other orbits and change to this. But yeah, oh, I'm starting to feel the lag already. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get some more machines down. Oh wow, it's definitely lagging. What's going on here? Well, it's probably all the extra solar sails I've put up. Anyway, um, let me get some more machines down and we'll start launching some stuff, some stuff up. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just getting the last of the rails going onto the new uh, Dyson Swarms. So that should be everything. Uh, it is a little bit laggy. Again, I'm not surprised. Uh, so all that's left to do is, as you can see, I have uh, two more. I set up two more of the launch silos. I decided to have one set up going to each individual silo and hope that everything holds up. So uh, we should be good to go. Let's release the floodgate. All right. Let's see what happens. Actually, see if we can see any change here yet. Aside from the obscene amount of lag. Oh, look at that. We can already start to see them showing up already. That is cool. Uh, what I'm wondering really is uh, which parts they're going to start putting up first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go for a little bit and uh, see how much structure we can get in the next 15 minutes or so. Oh, i got to take care of power situations and I'll be back when we're done. Okay, so we're going along here and uh, you know we're starting to, starting to get something. We're getting a uh, oh, blue atom, uh, blue thing going around the sun right now. Uh, 257,000 parts interesting but we shall see how it turns out uh, we'll let this go for a little bit but uh, yeah I'll bring you back after I don't know, I'll give it a half an hour and see what we can get up so you remember that part about half an hour or so it's actually been it's been a couple of days and maybe about 20 hours of back and forth between all three different three of the planets in the system uh, going to the extent of building and uh, completing the entire ring of orbital collectors around uh, less of three there and then uh, dealing with production drop uh, fallbacks and uh, resource shortages and again more and more back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and seriously 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 misunderstanding underestimating the actual scale of this process project and what was going to be involved to actually do this and the amount of materials that was going to be needed but anyways that's what I got so far. We are currently about 11,000 structures. And we're actually doing somewhat decent. We're doing 2.6 gigawatts. Uh, I can give you a bit better view of it here in the map. And it's actually starting to look pretty good. It's taking a lot more than what I thought. I'm not able to keep... Right now with what I have in the system, I cannot keep these guns actually running. I'm... I'm I left it, I'm more pretty much out of stone everywhere, so I'm making acid or silicon or glass is going to be a, a bit of an issue. So I am going to have to head out to another system, and I have been looking at the the map here, and we are going to go to uh, it was this one here. I go to Eta Triangula, and it's got loads of everything it's got tons of silicon it doesn't have oil but it does have a lot of fire ice it has kimber kimberline ore for the diamonds it has optical grading crystals which is really good for the casmere crystals as wait was it this one no it was what is this one here one of these hang on where was it what oh, was that one of these up here i think there's one here that had sulfuric acid ocean I wanted to go to maybe it was this as it changes 
I can go six, six light years and I've already checked all of them. That I did. Hang on, let me find it. Actually, it was this one. Uh, this one. Uh, again, it's got lots of stuff. It has the, the fractal crystal, silicone, which is pretty good. Uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, lot, again, lots of silicone, iron, titanium, and all that stuff. And what I want to do is I've been uh, thinking about what I want to actually produce. And the, the biggest problem right now is the, the, the actual Dyson Sphere components. And it's really relying on these frame, frame materials. Now these frame materials I can actually make in that system. I can make the, uh, it has uh, fire ice there. It sure did. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta check again. I'm pretty sure I had fire ice out there. I was looking at all these things. Actually fairly close to is this one here. Yes, lots of fire ice so I can get my graphene and my hydrogen there. And then, uh, got silicon there, it's got tit titanium alloy, titanium alloy is titanium, steel, and sulfuric acid. Simple. Really simple. So what I want to do is I actually want to uh, assemble these actual components here, and then ship these out on logistic, on the uh, interstellar vessels. Uh, they will be using warp drives. Uh, I have thought about actually going to the pro uh, extent of making the rockets, but, uh, can't remember. Oh yeah, because then I have to make the Casimir crystals, and I believe I need titanium crystals, which were the organic compound. I need water to make that, so I can't make that there. So I can keep that going here because I've got water here, no problem. And I, I can easily make that stuff. Uh, some of the well oil wells on Lesseth, on the main planet, uh, they have run dry, so I've been moving around. There's not much left there. Uh, what else was there? And yeah, and then I had logistics problems. I have done lots of research. As you can see, I'm currently working on uh, logistic carrier capacity. Currently, the logistics drone, the uh, inter interstellar drones, going 500, going to 600 pretty soon. And same with these; these are 60. I think it's going up to 75 or 80. So it's actually really good. It's going to come in handy with the warp drives. And then, as far as the warp itself. I can either make the research components because I can get uh, I can get eight out of these, eight out of one of those, or I can get one to one on the graviton lens, which I am making. Uh, diamond. I wonder if I could actually make the, that out there. Hydrogen. Strange matter. Strange matter is it can be done. I might actually be able to do that. So then we're going to get them to make their own warp cores out there, or their own space warpers, and go from there. But anyways, let's go up and have a little bit of a look, and then we'll leave the episode there. But yeah, this is... I admit it was a bit much, but... You know, uh, I'm not quite set up properly. I know I should be doing a little bit better. I've uh, When I was uh, setting up new miners, I was getting into the habit of trying to get like four miners on the same batch. Yeah, it's... You know, the resources, it's, it's, only, it's only so much there, so the faster I get it out, the better. I never realized how big these nodes were. This thing is just massive. And it has yet to actually build the, the second spot going around the sun here. But anyways, uh, next episode, like I said, we're going to go head out and uh, go adventure to another star and go do our... Do our duty out there, bring it all back here and get this thing built up. And then now that I've had some experience with this, I makes it a little bit easier to plan on other ideas I can do with other stars. But until then, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.